There we go. There we go. This John Pack. This John Pack. Hold on, let me, let me flip my cup around. Gotta take a sip before I get started. You know what I mean? Thank you, thank you, thank you. As you know, Los of Dark Gable. You know what I mean? To the to the right of me, got my man CJ filling in. I know they like, well, where's Shar? We got CJ filling in for Shar. Mm -hmm. Shar a little under the weather. You know what I'm saying? We can listen. We got a special one for y'all tonight. You know what I'm saying? Tonight, I got Roxy Fab in the building. You know what I mean? Roxy. Hey. Roxy Fab in the building. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? The Roxy. Yo. How you been, baby girl? I'm going to take a sit with my disjo on podcast cup. Right that's, see, that's what I'm talking about. You know? That's what I'm talking about. Right. We need to sell these. We probably, probably got, you know, you can get that if you want that. Oh, yeah, 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 we'll yeah. I mean, listen, we definitely going to sell that merch. Absolutely. You know, we definitely going to sell that merch. Wait, but I'm good. I'm not complaining. You know, you know? Hey, so wait a minute. Since the last time I had you on the couch, yeah, ooh, does that sound so sexual? Because you, you are sexual. Had you on the couch. How you been since the last time I had you? Up in this bad boy. What you been doing? Oh man. Well, you know, between MC and gigs and stages and recordings and all those things, I'm doing audio books now. So my commercials are still nationwide. So that's good. Complain. I'm healing from a fractured elbow right now. So I'm trying to, you know, get that motion back a little bit. But other than that, I'm good. I'm not complaining. I'm trying to lose this weight. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to lose this weight. weight. Hey, listen, you're still looking beautiful as ever. I'm trying to lose this weight. Hey, my man CJ, CJ, bro. No, so, I'm sure y'all remember CJ from our, you know, locker room talk. Listen, I don't do much. You know what I mean? So now he's doing <laughs> the reaction videos at night. <laughs> he's chilling with the Los and Roxy Fab in the while we in the building. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. Hold on, I got to be here. Hold on, I got I to take a sip. Hold on, y'all. Oh, man, there we go. CJ, man, what's going on, bro? How you been today, man? Listen, I don't do much. I just do a whole lot. Damn. <laughs> right. I'm saying. I don't know if that's possible, but it sounds so good. Listen. <laughs> it sounds so good. Wait, put that shit. I don't do much, but I do a whole lot. You know what I mean? I'm saying, man, bust some bars, man. Reese, bro, we see you, bro. We see you in My the chat. <laughs> yeah, you know man, we see good. you in the chat. Yeah, you know, I know mean, other than that. I mean, shit, I've been chilling, man. Listen, I love being here. Before we get started, if you support the show, then support the show. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. You know, cash at PayPal in the description. You know what I mean? Any or, in, or every little bit helps. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we can continue to bring some of this good content with my friends and family. You know what I mean? So, hey, listen, should we get this thing here, you know, started? Listen, let's dive in. You know what yeah. I mean? Oh, man. Okay. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Rochelle, start it off for us. Man, so look, 53 year olds, man. 50, we're in our 50s. What is this about? So, look, 53 year old Irv Gabi is heartbroken. Oh, that all the girls he meets in their oh, 20s. Okay, mm, mm, mm. let's put the break on. All the girls he meets in oh, his this. 20s. All right. you know, there you go. Right. Have to be because they had that reality show that was in the 2000s and they was like either like preteens or teens. So they definitely right. grown now. Right. Right. Oh man, then yeah. you, you know what? Stop. I mean, come on. Man, then yeah. Hey man, let's go. Right. I'd love to have one with me 100%. Mm. I just don't think it's out there for me. 26 year old Dominican gorgeous. You out here with Totones? Okay. So she asked me for 25,000. Damn. She's a real one. Let's make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> 25,000. I was like where does she get off asking me for 25000 And then in the back of my head, I'm like, this is the tip of the iceberg. Mm. If she's my girl, mm. that means she going to ask, I need a hundred. Mm. Her mess. To get all of this money for my family <laughs> to have some bad come around and just start siphoning it out. That's mm. never happening, y'all. <laughs> So that's why I just, I don't think it's in the cards for me. Mm. I don't know if I could find someone who I'm going to be attracted to that's like a nice, good person. Right. And you So you say you got your guard up all the time? You have to. Okay. I would love to have one with me 100%. Mm. I just don't think it's out there for me. Mm. Roxy, start it off for us. What do you think? What's up with her? Your daughter is not out there. I mean, she, bro, I, I can't, I can't, I can't even comment with this foolishness. Like, <laughs> like seriously, like, I mean, what makes him think 
that's what he's supposed to have. You know, I mean, yeah. there's some older, if he wants Dominican, if he wants all that, there's some older ones that he can go get. Go right on over there and go get you one. They don't have to be in a 20. If, if they're going to be that age, they're going to want cash. What else do mm-hmm. they want from mm-hmm. him? Dude, you're not like, you ain't Dominican. You ain't fine like that. She don't want that. What do you say? He's not, he's not a fine one. Dude, look, he was probably hot back in the day. I don't even remember. He was so, he, he probably wasn't. I'm so, no homo. I'm well, right. I'm about to right. That, and I get that. I'm just so over him yeah. even... You know what do they? What, what's the word that I say that people say? Uh, it, it, it's the audacity for me. Uh, yeah. Oh, bro, the audacity that you even. Th- I'm done. I can't. Oh, oh I can't. well, you know I'm gonna pass this on to my man CJ. Don't you know what I'm saying? What do you think, bro? What's up with Herb, man? What's up with so, Herb, if y'all, man? If y'all see me on here, y'all know I'm a little bit, un, you know, un, unadulterated, unfiltered when it comes to stuff like this. <laughs> so number one. We heard Superhead talk about you years ago. They said he got a small, you know. So Damn. that's already out there. I, I'm, that, not, I'm not creating that. That's not put that. That's man not opinion. That like that. She put that out there. So you she gotta did. you gotta rectify that. Number one. Number two. You snitched on Ashanti and how you oh I was, she was I was in love with her. We was together. Like you wait till you get in your fifties to talk about stuff that happened twenty years ago. Right. So that's number two. That's strike two that women don't trust. And then number three. Nia Long is in her fifties. Regina Hall is in her fifties. These are beautiful. So you saying women. that he can get himself a so nice, he can get a know, woman his age. Nice, beautiful. No, sh- sh- I mean, even if you want to go to his forties, what say old head? at twenty six? Like they moving around, they moving and shaking. You, I, I don't know if you still want to do the same stuff you was doing back in ninety nine, two thousand. But I'm pretty sure yeah. if you if you want to be doing that, like Muhammad Ali said, if you're still doing the same thing. In your thirties and did you doing in your fifties? You don't waste twenty years of your life, right? So it's like, again, they're they looking for a different thing. So if you can keep up with them, cool. But they not checking for you, right? Idris Elba or Irv Gotti, <laughs> like what? Right. You're looking for that Hermes bag, <laughs> like, like, right. like yeah. Come because on. because again, yeah. they want you is the, the same way you want them to be eye candy. They want to be eye candy too. They want to take you around their friends and and their friends be like, oh girl, he is fine. They just going when they bring you, it's gonna be like, oh, pop up, they go pop up. Okay. Now cool. they're gonna be like, ooh, Damn, that's why they go, Irv. They're gonna say, ooh, that's Irv Gotti. Right. Why, 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 why they gonna play the man like that? Because it's like that's you gotta you you gotta be able to put out what you what you want what you want to come back. And like mm-hmm. again, the whole you you rat the biggest thing is you ratting on Ashanti. Oh, you, you told the whole you pillow talk. That as an old man, you're an old man now. Mm-hmm. You almost, you know, geriatric. So, bro, <laughs> you, you got to chill. He talking about us like that. <laughs> well, I'm just saying him though. Like he, uh, he right. almost, he almost could ride the bus for free. Another what, ten years? So can I, but damn. But it's different. You ain't out there putting <laughs> people's business out there, or you're not saying, "Oh, with a 26 year old Dominican." Like, come on. No, stop. I get what you're saying. Well, now you no, know. Well, me. Let, let me add this for one. I mean, there's nothing wrong with getting some nice little eye candy. Sure, of course. You know what I mean? You know, you, you know what I mean? Us old guys, you know what I mean? We like to have a little eye candy on our arm, but you know what? That's where it should end. Get himself a nice little joint. If you got a pair, I ain't paying her no 20000 Uh, You know, hey, listen, I'll give you, you know, a couple of hundred, get your hair done, get your nails done. You know what I mean? I'm going to take you, you know what I mean, to places so I can look good. You know what I mean? Because you know I can be shallow like that. But you can hire an escort. But. Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Rock? That's, that's, that's why Roxy's in the building. See, you know? he, he probably Just hire somebody to do that. Right? He probably think he's too good for an escort, so he probably want you know want her when he want her. But you gotta pay the cost to be the boss. Because yeah, he said all the time. Yeah, he say all the time. At the end of the day, it's like, bro, that's what you want. Just cool. You can want what you want, but you gotta yeah. pay the cost to be the boss. So you know, twenty nah. six year old, you, she call, she. Come with a with a with a different set of standards. Yeah, what and, now? You, and again, you're Irv Gotti, so you, you oh, he, he ain't gonna yeah. want no. Well, listen, he ain't gonna want no no seven. He no, wants no, a ten. because he wants to try to pull the ten. Right. But now, peep it. Did y'all hear what he said when he said getting money from my family? Right. To cipher to you, is Irv hiding money from somebody? I mean, do he, Irv owe somebody money? No. I mean, so well, well, yeah, well, why but, yeah, why but, would he say that? Well, why would I have to get money from my family and, and give it to you? Yo, are you hiding money from somebody? Well, I, I think, think I mean, was Irv ever like, married? He feels like if I'm but, giving you 20 grand, then I'm taking that from facts. money that should be going to my family. Facts. But the bottom line is, is that if you're going to mess with somebody in their 20s, they're going to want 20, 30, 40, 50 grand plus, plus a Maybach. 
So, Damn. you know what I mean? And she probably going to want a nice condo on the side. So you're going to kick out all this money and it's going to take away from your family. So what do you expect, though? What do you expect? Any yeah. type of chick that's like that, you're taking money out of the pocket that you have that could be going to your family. And you're willing to take that risk because you're talking it. Like, I need to find a 26-year-old that can just... you already willing to take that risk, bro. At the yeah. end, Because at the end of the day, like, you're not looking for, uh, you know, Lolita that works at the... Um, she works at the nursing facility. Hola. You know, she 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 go to work. She might go out with her girlfriends yeah. on the weekend, have a little fun. Hola. Now you're not looking for her. That's just a regular, you, you know, know right, working woman. You looking Damn. for the bombshell? He, you you looking for the video vixen or the right. Instagram model? Right. So you know what they come with. So you can't. Oh, be they oh, listen. They gonna come with those issues. You can't. They getting they getting pooped on in Dubai for fifty grand. So like <laughs> they come they, they come different. Uh, they come different. different. They, you gotta be able. That's what I said. You gotta pay the cost to be the boss if you want that type of woman yep. yeah. so you mm-hmm. give, give it up man. Irv, Irv. Yeah, give come it up on, or, Irv, man. Or go look for Lolita who's just yeah, chilling come on, she Irv. bad she got a regular job and keep it moving That's yeah we well, see now Irv like I'll say Irv was probably looking for those 10s man look for some 8s man cut that 20 I'm grand you, to like about get a six. 2 grand yeah. Yeah. get you a strong 7 <laughs> and she <laughs> like, and she turned it, and she turned it, and she turned it to an 8 when she get her hair done you better get it together all right. Yeah, yeah. So CJ, he might CJ over trying to spend an extra right. thousand. A strong six. You know what I mean for a would you, seven. Would you rather spend a thousand for the seven or twenty five thousand for the ten? You can give, <laughs> give me the seven. <laughs> you can give five for the six. Yeah, damn. <laughs> there you go. Maybe. There you go. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Mi nombre es Chiquita. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Hey. Oh, in the building, my man El Plaga. Oh, what's good, broski? You know what I mean? We see you in the chat. Reese in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, when y'all step in, make sure y'all, uh, you know, drop a like. We can get those likes up soon as you come in. This your podcast. Hey. You know what I'm saying? You hey. know how we do what we do when we do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They're doing it and doing it and doing it well. Here you so, go. Yo, who, 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 who sung that? Oh, cool, Jay. Oh, shit, that's what I'm talking about, man. I don't know why I remember that, man. That's, my, that's one of my top 10 favorite songs. Is it? Yes, I don't know why. I think the mixture of the R&B and the hip-hop together... And I was a kid yeah. when that came out, so it was like, ooh, okay. Yeah. I like this one, though, especially the girl. <laughs> nah. Oh, Uncle L. I said, no. Nah. Whoa, nah. okay. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, she said that was shit. Like, Come on, <laughs> Roxy. Tell me you ain't listened to LL Cool J all I through did. high school. No, 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 no. I did, but that just wasn't one of my favorites. No, what's your favorite? No. What's your favorite? What's your favorite album? Like a, like, like a Panther? I'm trying to think. I don't know. My no no absolutely not. It's it's a song that people don't even follow. But my favorite LL song was "Go Cut Create a Go." Like it's just real simple okay. and easy for me. Okay, okay, you know okay, I give it to her that because was, you know because see she likes to you know she like DJs that be that was one scratching of my, that was scratching one yeah of my, yeah but that was my song. yeah I ain't that DJ I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't there, you ain't there, I mean, I could do it, but it's killing like, them turntables, bro. Yeah, you, know, you know, I, I grew up with the, you know, the mixtape DJs, and they talk too much. So, damn, yeah, I don't like they talking do, or all the scratching. Like, yeah. I like it, but it's like, come on, I'm here to dance and grind on the girls. I, scratch. I, don't and I like, a, I like a good blend, though. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah I can blend. blend. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Well, but, 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 hey, Roxy, remember we, when you know we should hit the clubs and all that. Yeah. DJ could just talk through the whole record. Oh, Yo, oh my, you know what I'm saying? But, but then people were dancing. Now, yeah. Dude, oh, are please. clubs still even open? They are, but they, they are. they're uh, fashion shows. Yes. And it's very they clicky. They're on, on their phones yeah, I all went, night I, long. Listen, I just went to a party. I mean, I went to, yeah, my cousin's party. And, you know, I'm I'm, I'm not in like late 90s, early 2000s is when the, my, the party scene was, you know, for me. And so I get into this party and all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, all the women on the dance floor. I'm like, okay, that's what I'm talking about. All right. And so I'm like, Wait, something ain't right though. And I look around, all the guys are sitting on the side like this. Wow. Yo, you we in the building. I'm like, wait, y'all don't, y'all don't mingle with the women no more. And I mean, the women is on the floor. They twerking on each other. They doing splits on each other on the floor. And I'm like, wait, wait, is this like, this ain't one of those clubs, is this? Like, I'm in, I'm in, I know that. Like, no disrespect to that. No disrespect to that community, but I ain't come here for that. Like, oh no, they just really don't care about the women. They so, they hugging on the bros. I'm like, this is different. You know, well, they faking the phone. They pretending they having a good time, but in reality, they it's, really not. Having weird. A good time. I came here yeah. for the women. That's you know the that? number one reason why <laughs> I'm here. So I'm talking about Mad This Joint Podcast. Roxy, are we ready to go to the next one? Yeah, man. Yeah. So check this out. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. So a woman, mm-hmm. 
tried to play this married security officer for a simp and got humbled real, real quick. Damn. Real quick. We got to see that, man. Yeah, check that out. Let's go. Drop it. What's your name? Isaac. Isaac, what do you rate me out of 10? I'm happily married. So he would not rate you. So. Okay, so if you had to rate me, if you didn't have a wife, come on. I have you a one. It's a little desperate, that's why. So the most important person in my life is my wife. So she's number one. What's your name? Oh, he was cold. <laughs> he was cold. <laughs> CJ, start this one off, bro. Because I know you ready to come off the top with it. <laughs> That was refreshing mm. because thirst is the new uh, new drug and people validation and thirst is just is running rampant in the streets these days. And so the fact that she didn't respect that that man, he said he had a wife. I'm happily married. So she could have easily went to, you know, went left and said, hey, you got is anybody else like you mm -hmm. got a partner or she, or she could have cut the video, whatever. But she just kept thinking that she's so you know attractive and everybody's gonna have you know something to say about her and my man was like nah keep it moving shorty we don't care oh <laughs> and so she just couldn't get it through her head like hey i'm happily married and she said i wouldn't rate you because i'm married and you okay so you want to keep going you're a one because you're thirsty mm. and, 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 yeah, and i, I agree because it's like at the end of the day if we don't we got to start respecting each other's boundaries that mm -hmm. man told you what it was and in his household he don't feel like he and need to rape she, other and, women and she kept pushing you just right. kept going so now yeah you're a one because you're thirsty yeah. so kudos to that young man that's what i'm talking about let's go so you, were, you were one yo he was yo he was vicious with it wasn't he, he? was he was real plain as uh you're he didn't even look at it. you're one because I told you, like, I mean, <laughs> I told you I was married and we have to. And, and like CJ said, we have to respect those boundaries. So, you know, I shout out to him. He kept it real simple. He's like, mm -mm, guess what? Number one chick, you're not getting me caught up. Mm -mm, you're not going to have me saying, yo, you like a nine plus. No, nope, yeah. not going to happen. Yeah. Videos are viral. They go everywhere. You're not going to get me caught up. <laughs> He's like, my wife be looking at this. Right. Second, like you said. Those boundaries were right there, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm glad that he was like, mm -mm, no, you're a little thirsty, and uh, no, because you acting like this, I'm give you a one. I like it. <laughs> you like it? I like it. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's it, yeah, man. He, yo, he, he get a cookie. And, <laughs> and to be totally honest, like she wasn't that bad. She was skinny. Mm. Like it wasn't like she had body, and she was like, you were. She to me, like being honest, she was like a strong six. Well, you know, listen, I, I say, I, yo, you give her that. I wouldn't give her a six. Okay. You know what I mean? Because for one, she kept trying to push the envelope. So when, whenever you keep trying to push the envelope or it will become thirsty, that attractiveness is, is going to me. You know what I'm saying? She, was, she fucked up his name. His name was Isaac. Where the hell she did she? Isaac. Yeah, Isaac. Come on. I was like, yo, come <laughs> on. You, you can't pronounce my name right. You know what I mean? So she, now, and now you expect me to rate you? She said not, it, yo. <laughs> she's just not sure of them double A's in there. I S A A C. I love it when a man break a, a arrogant person down, or especially a woman. I love when a man break them down. Come yeah. on, man. You, she, boy, you know what? And the, and the, and I think the most spectacular thing about it was he didn't have to. You know, he didn't have to be he vulgar to about much. it. No, or he, he didn't have to, like, about. really, you know, make her feel bad. Right. He just played her in the most, you know, smooth and sophisticated way. And yes, be on your did. way, young lady. Goodbye. Yes, he did. And that was it. Dismissed. Kept it he probably was on the job. Yep. So yeah. he probably was really... Like, hey, girl, if you don't yo, got on my on, face, I got some, right. I'm really got something to do right now. Right, right. <laughs> you know, I was like, girl, I may fuck around. I may put you in the man cups. <laughs> right. Ah, right. Disorderly get, conduct. Get your skinny ass girl, up get out of here. here. Right. <laughs> you know I mean, get your skinny ass up out of here. Dream them of what, what I read. You know how to read. I rate you a one. Right. You know sure, what I mean? Write you a Enjoy it. Right. Love it. About to write your ass up. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Love it. Love it. Hey, what movie did that come from? Anybody know? I don't know. Don't know. It was an LL Cool J movie. What? Yeah. One of the is that, is that N2D? Oh, my man right there. He said it. Yeah. Give it to him. It means I didn't see it. <laughs> you ain't a cop. Hold on. You ain't never you seen ain't a cop J. Reed. Yeah. No, I ain't seen it. You that. ain't no cop J. Reed. Oh, Roxy, you ain't never seen N2D. Uh uh. It's a good one. Oh, my God. No, what was it you about? You know, listen, when you Read get home, me. when you get home, what was it about? It was about so uh, Omar Epps. Yeah, Omar Epps, undercover cop who infiltrated one of the biggest gangs in, what was it, Akron? Yeah. Or, it was somewhere in Ohio. It was somewhere in Ohio. He, he, and the gang leader was um, LL Cool J. 
Yeah, he was funny. And yo, it was, oh man, real good. And that part where he was like, love it, love it. What his best friend, who was his partner in crime, because he was in a criminal organization, smashed his was, his, No, he didn't say he was trying to smash. Oh, oh okay. Uh-huh. He was trying to smash. LL found out they had him stripped naked on the pool table and he shoved a cue stick up his ass. See, no, they won't. And he was like, love it, huh. love it. Let's see, I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a great movie. Good movie. It's just, it definitely a black classic. Yeah. Nope, didn't see it. Oh, uh, Cincinnati. Reese, Cincinnati. I knew, I knew it was Ohio. Cincinnati, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, okay. Cincinnati. Peep it, peep it. That movie was supposedly based on a real life event. Did really? not know that. Yeah, with a real cop. Oh, okay. Mm. But you know, they, they switch it up for a dramatic dramatical purposes yeah yeah you know you know how they do an entertainment business you know it you know i shouldn't tell you because you know you're in the entertainment Bunch business of things are frauds oh, yeah. wait a minute so hold on yes you was in a play yeah or, i mean I've or a movie been, i've been in a couple of plays and yes i was in a movie and you didn't invite me i mean i was in a movie we had a big and you i couldn't premiere. come on a set I mean, uh, you know. What you, kind of shit is that? You be busy. You don't be checking on me like that no more. <laughs> First of all, I'll be silent stalking. <laughs> silent stalking. <laughs> That's your problem. You silent. <laughs> I ain't doing what shit. What they say, you're a ghost follower. Yeah, right. I'm a ghost follower. So I make sure I check up on you. Make sure because I don't want you doing some shit you ain't supposed to be doing. I ain't doing none of that. I'm good. I ain't you know that. what I mean? I'd be like, yo, who she, 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 she fuck with? You better not be fucking with no clown ass nigga. Lower. Because I'm a clown her. We won't talk about that today. But <laughs> yes, the, the movie is called The Road to Truth. And it was on Amazon Prime. Now it's on Tubi, if I'm correct. So you can watch it for free. Oh, yes. Y'all hear that? And uh, yeah, it's won some awards and all that. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was good. But yeah, I've been in plays for like ever. Come on, man. I know. Listen, CJ, we got a bona fide star. Hey. Sit, Rub, sitting on a couch, he rubbed some of that off on me, so I can. You know. Yeah, we. I mean, we we got we have a bona fide star. Listen, I look when she leaves, we gonna try to rub some of her blackness off on us. Maybe we can start get some of them, some of them, them special gifts or Listen, something like I'm, that. I'm with it. Roxy Fab in the building, y'all. Yo. Roxy Fab, yo. You know what I mean? Give it to her. Yeah. You know what I mean? If y'all don't know, listen, me and Roxy, we go way back. You know what I mean? Way, way back. I'm talking like way back, what's it, four flats, four tires in the flat. How did it say, what the, how did I don't even how go again? Talking about. Four flats in the, I don't know, four flats and something. Yeah, four flats, no jack or something. Yeah, something. What? I don't know, I, one of them, but yeah, we go way back. Listen, y'all, she should take me some of the hood bars, y'all. Shoot, bro, you Rocky, wish. Yo, bro. What's up, what's your name one is of lying. Bro, so he, one. He, bro. he used to run that bar, bro, okay? Cozies. And he would take me in there. On, on, on 50, 53rd Street. Go ahead, let me go ahead. Let, let, let me hear he your would, BS. He would take me in there and you know I walk in there I'm looking like I don't belong there let's just keep it a thousand okay because it's, it's real you know I, I'll never forget back in the day walking in, back in the day walking in the after midnight and the dude at the door was like you don't even belong here so, Wait, so on I, Market Street the, Wait, don't matter. Yeah, yeah, was it? Yeah, I think it was but, I think yeah, it was on 48th whatever. Street. We should go to one but, on 48th Street. Uh-huh. So but yeah and so he used to take me him Chris all them <laughs> friends and go in there and kettle one it up all Remember, right all and night long all night long and I'm standing there you know with my cute little outfit on like hey you know all right I'm gonna stand over here okay like so no that was you you used to run you and your friends were in that bar you were in the whole back corner Damn. I was just a girl from Delaware County looking like I didn't belong in cozies on 51st and Everford. Yes, you know that was our spot. That was our spot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen, that was hood romantic. Cozy's is hood romantic. <laughs> Lord, I drove by there the Shout other day. Cozy's. I ain't know what was going on outside. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Woo, Lord. For is that is Cozy still open? I I believe. I, I believe so. They were standing outside and I was shocked. I was like, wait a minute. Are y'all still open? Is the light on? Like, uh, yeah. Because I, I mean, I haven't been there. I haven't been cozy in years. Yeah. No, I mean, I haven't been since I went with you. I don't know. Roxy, take us to the next one. What we got? It, are, are, what, are we on video number three? Yes, we are. Okay. okay. Yes, we are. What we got? What is yeah. What is video number three? So, Y'all know back in the day, we didn't like this either. All right. When I was like 16, back back in the, in, in the 80s, we didn't like this. We fought people who did that. I didn't fight, but. Oh, man. What did you? So this guy you know, accidentally stepped on another man's sneakers while visiting Atlanta for his birthday. Oh. Yeah. Mm. You know, we didn't play you stepping on our sneaks, our fresh joints. 
All right. Not not the fresh boy. Look, mm-mm. we looked at you like, what did you just say? You know, so but this is how it played out. So ch- check this out. Let's go. Check this out. Let's go. I was in Atlanta for my birthday weekend. And I guess some way, somehow I was drunk a little bit and I stepped on this guy's shoes and he gets up and he goes, wipe my fucking shoes off right now since you stepped on. Him. I said, get the fuck out of my face. I ain't doing that shit. So he went and grabbed his waist. So as soon as he went and grabbed his waist, I grabbed my phone and I contacted the local authorities. <laughs> Come to find out he got arrested because he was a possession and he was a felon. <laughs> it's 2023. We're not throwing our lives away for you, dumbass niggas. You're going to go to jail, buddy. <laughs> the local authorities have been called. <laughs> now, y'all might call me a bitch, but I'm a bitch and I'm free. He a real nigga locked up. <laughs> oh, you want to try to take my life? Okay, I'll ruin your life. <laughs> yeah, you think I'm going to throw my life away from you, buddy? Check again. <laughs> I was in Atlanta for my... Check oh, yo. <laughs> again. Oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's what I'm wait talking about. Hey, look, you know, I give it up to, I, listen, I give it up for the homeboy. Ain't no problem. Look, at my age, yes, I'm with him. I'm calling the local authorities. Dude. You know what I'm saying? Dude. I'm calling the local authorities. Yes, I am not, I am not risking my life for you. Dude. They got people who risk their lives he to give said, you those type prizes when you play them stupid ass games. He said, wipe my motherfuckers niggas off. He said, no. <laughs> reach for your waist. He said, I'm going to reach for my phone. <laughs> do, do, do. Hello? Hey. Look, thank you for calling 911. How can I help you? <laughs> yeah, that, wait a minute. Say that see, again. Say that again. Thank it, you for it. calling 911. How can I help you? Yes, there we go. That's it. That's that 911 operator voice right there, y'all. Look, miss, we got an emergency right here. This dude just went like, look, yo, yeah, mm, handled. <laughs> I love it. Shout out to you. I like it. That's a dude. I love you. Yes. Oh, man, Reese. Yeah, I mean, Reese, what's up, Reese, man? I, I'm a, <laughs> Reese, I want to hear you cook. Let me hear you cook, dog. Listen, let me hear you cook, bro. I, so when it comes to the whole, like, you know, people being in the streets and being tough and all, they say, you know, there's a street guy you're in the streets and then there's the civilians. I'm happy that this guy continued to be a civilian because sometimes you get the civilians who are civilians and they want to be tough in certain moments. And it's like, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Mm-hmm. So I appreciated him. I'm a civilian. He was he wasn't scared because he said, Man, get the fuck out of here. I ain't doing that. Right. So yeah. it wasn't right. he wasn't right. timid. Right. But he also knew I'm not a street guy, so I'm not going to handle it the street way. Right. I'm gonna handle it like a civilian. Mm-hmm. So I appreciate him. Oh, okay, you you want because again, he could have been a civilian with a license to carry and he could have took it a whole different way. But he said, yeah. I'm a civilian. I'm gonna handle it the civilian way. Well, I feel like even even without all that, he could have been like, "Yo, look, I'm a hood nigga, but I just had a kid. I just uh, got this wife. I ain't in the mood. Like to crack you don't your know head. anybody's personal stuff. Like my mom's in the hospital. It could be anything. And instead of him trying to take that risk, he said, "Look, you know what? Nine times out of ten, you're carrying this shit and you ain't supposed to. So let me just in my head <laughs> get my phone real quick and just go do." Do, do, and call 911. 911 emergency. How may I help you? Yeah. I'm so for it. I'm for it. I love call it. the local authorities. Yes. I love it. Yeah. He just didn't want to be that guy today. He wanted to live. Yeah. That's and, what I'm saying. And I, and I'm I ain't got no problem for, that. for yeah. living because people don't know how to put up their hands. They always reach him real quick. So I'm grateful that he said, nope, I ain't doing this. I ain't got time for this shit. Let me just make a phone call. Yeah. Now, I, I, now I know me. Back in the day, I, I would have got sucked into a fight. Yeah, I see. Because you. you know, you remember how I was back I in the know, day. I'd, I'd have been calling the, and you'd yeah, been fighting. Yeah, I would have, <laughs> I would have got sucked and sucked into. Oh, you, oh, bro, you must want to go. Yeah, you know I mean, I would have got sucked. In, but now, at my age, right now, nah. Yeah, I, now, I'm, I'm with the boy. I'm calling the local authorities. I mean, listen, I'm I'm licensed to carry. So for me, it's like I would have I would have had my yeah. I wouldn't even have said. Man, I ain't fucking doing it. I was just look. All right, let me get out of here because I know where I know where it could go for me. Where's it go? Yeah. So, so I would have exit stage left, but like I'm happy he had that discernment, like not to take it there because I mean we already losing too many lives in our culture and our communities. So mm-hmm. one more, mm-hmm. no matter who that person is, is is too much. So I'm happy he had a discernment. Hopefully, uh, any of y'all younger people that's watching could kind of take the lesson from that. Is life is way way more precious than you think it might be so it's not even worth it like just following his footsteps so you can you know like like uh craig father said so you can live 
You can right. live to fight another day. That's right. Exactly. For movie, right? And like she, what she say down here? Don't let them be white or your fresh Reeboks. I know, T. We see you, T. T. You, them fresh Reeboks. We used to wear them high tops. All remember all the different <laughs> colors: the royal blue, the red, the or the low top. Man, well, hold on. hey Roxy, do you remember? Now you wore the fresh Reeves back in the day, right? Yes, absolutely. You know, I wore the fresh shelter. I had every sneaker though. Yeah, but you them, them Jones, they only lasted like. Three weeks strong. Yeah, because three weeks strong before your big toe starts sticking out. Of I was going to say because the molding of the yes, I hated that. Yes, yeah. I hated that. I hate that. that. I hate soft soft toe sneakers. So I know what you mean. Yeah, like, yo, three weeks strong. Then that man, they they gone. Yeah, they no, gone. They were gone. You're right. <laughs> Wait, hold it, but listen before we go to the next video, real quick. Yeah. Um, what's up with the Steve Harvey thing? I know you heard about Steve Harvey. I heard and his it was wife. fake. Wait a minute, dude. Do, do do you do you? I'm CJ. Do you think that was fake? I, do you think I, it's fake or is, I don't know it's hard to tell because with these celebrities they can do so much to hide stories and all so you, I mean you can't tell but if it is true if it is true Broderick Steve Harvey I'm on your ass uh, this is what I have to say it could be true and he could be covering it up because a lot of people are going to be on his ass. I'm going to call him Broderick from now on if it's true. That's his oh, real name. Lord. I'm calling him Broderick from now on if it's true because he out here doing all this. He he damn near simping with, the, with the, some of that stuff he do. So <laughs> No, bro. It ain't damn near simping, okay, bro. That's, okay. We could jump that's out that window. 100% simping. Thank you. All right. Cool. Like, like stop. You do all this. Oh, my, 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 uh, I don't need no women. I don't need no women friends. I got my wife. Why do I need a woman as a friend? And all? stop. If she, I, I heard it was the security guard and his chef. So not only the dude that's so protecting y'all and the chef and the dude that's making your food. Stop. So again, I, allegedly, I'll say allegedly. Until I find out it's true, but if it is, yeah. Broderick, I'm on your ass. Yeah, yeah, boy, it's gonna be a long line, boy. It's, it's gonna be a see, boy, Roxy. See, see, my thing is, is that there's always truth to some story, and, and we we know this with everything that goes on in in celebrity life and in mm. our own life. There's always truth to some story, you know. So somewhere, I don't know if it was the security guard or the chef. <laughs> she got that meat from somebody but first. Somewhere she got caught doing something. You know what I mean? Now, um, again, that's my opinion and my opinion only. But I don't know if how how what the extent was. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But also, too, it's like, sis, Marjorie, you ready to take this big life gamble? You know what this man is doing right now? From but Family she, Feud to the court TV an show. Opportunist. To, well, but he knew that when he married her and she'd been with him for a couple and, of years and now. That's why what mess up makes now? Him the ultimate simp. Right, but why mess up now? Is my point. Why mess up now? Why because she's you probably wait until you get she, Because they probably they probably, they what? They've been together for like about what, eight years? Yeah, what's he like sixty something? Yeah, he like sixty seven. Yeah, they've been together for like eight years. She probably said, "Listen, I'm tired of riding this old shriveled up ass." I didn't mean? even know she could ride it. Maybe it ain't. Damn. Maybe it ain't. You know what I mean? So she's like, "Yo, it's time for me to cash out." But now the rumor says, the the rumor says that she's seeking half of Stop. his four hundred million Stop. dollar fortune. He doesn't have a prenup. Stop. This don't matter. <laughs> it's Steve Harvey. This is not his first go round or his second go round. He got it. It's like his third go round. Right? He this got is a prenup. Third. He got a prenup. And prenup. even if he don't, Steve Harvey, if he don't have a prenup, she cheated on him and she gets money. Ladies, let me let me sit up straight. Ladies. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on. Put the camera on him because he said no. That's how it goes down in he, L.A. though. If, if he, if she leaves him, asks for half his money and she gets it. I'm sorry, ladies, but marriages will probably drop at like 40%. No, but didn't this just happen with somebody else, though? I'm trying to think. This is not a new story, though. So, um, what happened? I think you're talking about the soccer guy. Somebody just did this. It's like a, a, a similar scenario. But, yeah, I mean. So, yeah, it was a soccer guy. I forget his name. Um, overseas. He makes like a million dollars a month. So, his wife, um, she left him. And she thought that she was going to get half of the money come to find out that all his fortune and was in his mama's name he was in his mom's yeah. name yes yeah, so but she, that's what his heritage does right but i mean no okay so let's go like to halle berry okay halle berry again you know just divorced this guy you know um i'm i, I believe he was cheating but he's gonna get eight thousand dollars a month right so you know and that's pennies right, i mean but what's hallie doing what, 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 what? i mean she 20 million dollars a movie so she all right but what movie she been in and sag after on strike. So yeah, I'm just saying. Long money. 
I, I hope she got long money. But either way, like if she th- that's California law, man. Listen, yeah, it's half. Yeah. I will never move to it's California. It's half. It just is what it is. Now, now see, here's the thing. Now, again, if it is true, allegedly. Oh, I see you, bro. Yes, I am out of control, bro. You know how I do. I'm always out of control. <laughs> if it is true, he played himself because he went on um, Shannon Sharp's podcast. Now, I forgot the name of it. The name escapes me. But what, Club Shay Shay? Yeah, Club Shay Shay. Uh-huh. He went on Shannon Sharp's podcast and he says that he owed everything to Marjorie. Everything. His, his success because when he was divorced from the second wife, the second wife, the second mm-hmm. wife supposedly took all his money and left him with like a thousand dollars or seventeen hundred dollars. And that's account. why he got a prenup right now. Things he better. No, he don't have a prenup. He got one. Well, he's got to have. They one. say that he doesn't have a prenup. He's got to have. You know one. what I mean? So now he he go, he goes on Club Shay Shay and says, uh, "I owe everything to Marjorie. She's the reason why I build my fortune back up. This 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 and this. All again, if it's true, all she got to do is just." Give that to her attorneys, and once they play that in front of the judge, oh, you owe everything to Marjorie. Guess what? Half. I mean, she's gonna she get some half. dough anyway, and he's he's loaded. But even he yeah. definitely has a prenup. There's no way this is his third marriage and he ain't learned his lesson. I'm sorry, he's just not that dumb. You don't think so? Absolutely not. He's definitely Come on got a now. prenup. Broderick, you don't think so? Broderick, got a prenup. I'm telling you, Broderick, if you definitely don't got a prenup, has a prenup. Definitely Ooh. has a prenup. I mean, listen, let me tell you something. You know what I mean? That. <laughs> That gawk gawk could have a man crazy and stupid. Man, I mean, whatever. I have like the gawk gawk. All of them money. got prenups. They just ain't <laughs> telling you. Look, they just ain't telling you? They, they got prenups. You know, listen, it's so funny because I was uh, <laughs> looking at a, a video, John Sally. He says he asks all his all his um, entertainment friends, you got a prenup? Mm-hmm. You got a prenup? You know what I mean? You got a prenup? I have a prenup just to talk to me. Uh-huh. Sign this prenup. We're going out on this first date. Sign this prenup. Sign right. this prenup. Yeah, just in case when we get there, it's already done. I need right. to sign this disclaimer. Yep. Hey, I was gonna say you you gonna sign this you gonna sign this NDA real quick. Facts. You gonna sign her something. daughter. Her daughter already got that. In right. order when you, when she has in, when she in a relationship, Lori Harvey, you gotta sign the NDA that you can't talk about it. So. Yeah, I read that. Wow. Read well, that. What, what now? Hold on. Is that the reason why? Um, what, what was the last guy she was dating just before she dated Michael B. Jordan? Uh, Michael B. Jordan. Is that the reason why he doesn't he can't doesn't talk about? It? He can't. But yet she can talk all types of shit. Yeah, but she don't really say nothing because I mean, I, again, like no no disrespect to a beautiful young lady, but like, what does she do? What is she known for? Right, but on the flip side too, not to be all Joe, but who said mm-hmm. she may have that? But who said he signed it? He's Michael B. Motherfucking Jordan, girl. You are just Lori Harvey. Like, sit your no ass down. No whatsoever. Yes, no. So nine. To, look. So these heavy hitters that she's dated, I doubt that they signed it. There's no, you'll be signing that because I'm Michael B. Jordan, bitch. You gonna sign it? I don't need to sign yeah. it for you. So wait a minute. So let's see. Let's Negative. see who that who, box make people do crazy. Listen. Stuff. Let's see who we Look, go down. Who Michael she dated? Michael B. Jordan ain't signing it. So no. she dated Michael B. Jordan. She dated Puff Daddy, right? Right. Or allegedly dated Puff Daddy. Future. Yeah, she dated him, and and you don't think that. Look, Look, you think, uh, you know Diddy ain't signing Diddy's shit. Facts. Oh, of course he. Will. Yeah, man, Diddy like you gonna sign this? They were all together, right? Diddy said, "Here, I need to take a, I need you to take a new photo ID. I need yeah. this is gonna go in your file." Like, damn, <laughs> like, like, yo, yo D- Diddy got a badge. He said, "I'm gonna need you to swipe." Exactly. I mean, yeah, so, right, you gonna get these fingerprints real quick? Damn. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> she came in with that. He's like, get the fuck out of my face with this. Right. So, nah, he, look, you girl walking that door and they're going to tell you everything you need to do real quick. Right, right? Yeah. Uh-uh. yeah. I so. mean, it just seems that all of all of his business is coming out into the wash, which means, I mean, he's an entertainer. So, of course, yeah. all of his business is going to be out there. Hey. But it seems all his business is coming out to the wash. It's going to be a long line of brothers. I don't want to say the N word, but a long line of brothers who just can't wait to get in that ass. I mean, he already did uh, Bernie Mac dirty when he um, undercut him. Or something so oh, yeah. he already been yeah. a snake boy, I mean, so he's, could yo, be his he's karma. a snake could be his karma oh mm. ain't that something no, I think his karma was already two marriages in the third one yeah. uh, I mean I don't yeah karma, I mean like a, look, listen, karma what I'm saying up. Broderick if this is true bro, you Broderick from now on you're not, Damn. not Steve no more in my opinion I think it is true I think it's that he's just trying to cover it up trying to mm. save face I mean look he has enough money to say hey yo listen I'll give you your divorce I'll give you a third, one third, you know what I mean? As long as we be together without being together. 
Oh. Yeah, shit, a lot of presidents do that. You think they? they do? You think? You think them wives want to be married? Some of them, they probably can't stand some of them guys they they married. So it's, that's all. It's all older. And who's he going to trust at this age? Yo, at this late stage in the game? Yo, listen, the, the, the bro is like. What in the sixties going through his third? If it is going through his third divorce, right? I mean, sixty years old. You too old. You too old. He be, almost seventy. He's almost almost 70, you too old to be yeah. getting divorced a third time. Yeah. He out of pocket. You know, what I mean, you should at least know how to get it right. I don't believe it. The first two times, uh, you don't I, believe it. Uh, uh, I don't believe it. Heavy duty rules. So I keep her I around. I don't believe it. Mm-mm, I don't. I think they're good. Mm. I think they good. Somebody's just trying to throw some salt in the game real quick. I think they good. Yeah, so I hate her. Uh, yeah, he says he fired his uh, his uh, I think his social media. Yeah, social media. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, listen, it could be he probably can't get it up anymore. He probably said, "Listen, I need you to blow my wife back out." <laughs> or, Damn, uh, let me stop. Shut up. <laughs> if, I mean, <laughs> he better go get a, he- a heavy duty rose. And like, hey, you know, you know what I mean. Well, hooked hook up to a car battery. Well, Look, well, we already know the security guard and the chef is fired. Like, well, <laughs> somebody bringing those titles up. Look, hey, look, I don't even I mean. trust you or you. So you got to go. Like, it don't know. even matter what did not or did happen. You got to go already. Yeah. So you know, I mean, but nah, I don't. You know, I just think that you know. People are, are new positions, titles is changing. You know, it's a, it's a new time. And it's probably somebody probably got fired. Yeah. They got their feelings hurt, got their paycheck cut, and somebody mad. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. That, T, I hear you. T, T says, especially since he's such the relationship expert, he need to give himself some advice. T, you are absolutely oh, right. Okay. Yeah. That's why it will be a long line of brothers. Yeah. Can't wait to get but, in that ass. But, but, all. but why do we why do not we but why do people call him the relationship expert so that's like all right say i do real estate right my like i'd say i 10 deals and five of them they 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 crashed would you call me a real estate expert well i think, I call you somebody i would not want to be doing business with. <laughs> no so. but you know where that comes from because i used to say that all the time like why are people literally like why are people listening to steve harvey for for relationship advice who is he you yeah. know but what people were saying to me was is that he has he is sharing his lessons that he learned so he doesn't do those again so basically so you don't make those possible same mistakes and that's how he capitalizes off of it so if you wanted to capitalize it's just like half these gurus out here in philly Fake. yo i i didn't graduate high school i never made it to college mm-hmm. and 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 you know uh uh my gpa was a 1.9 and now i got 16 <laughs> cars i own 14 properties and uh, you know you boom, open up a bank loan you know, and then you take that <laughs> bank loan and then you invest I it mean, into this loan do it and then you get the other time. people to pay off that loan Right, they do it all the time. So that makes someone an expert, and it's just—I mean, I—I'm always like, wow, really? Okay, so I'm an expert (laughs) at—I'm a lot of expert at a lot of things. But I guess if you failed so many times, you have a story to tell. Yeah, and you are—you know what I mean? And somebody who is listening to your story or watching your story is going through that exact same thing right now. So maybe with you sharing your story of your mistake. And that person is listening that they, oh, you know what? They can navigate their way out of that mistake. So, okay, it, it, okay. you know, it makes you an, an expert. Okay. I figured deal you. Hey, and if I, Steve I Harvey can get you. a check, look, here's my, if Steve Harvey can get a check out of that, so can you. Get your check today. Yeah. You right? know what? I, listen, <laughs> you know what? Today, Lois is going to be a relationship expert. Listen, she don't want to give you no sex. Fuck them. Here you go. Listen, fuck the bitch. My mom and dad was married for 30 years. So I have my dad passed away when I was 21 years old. So I have 21 years of uh, marriage experience in my background. So <laughs> okay. I'm now Dr. Love, you know, the relationship. It, it don't work like that. See, it don't work like it don't, oh, it don't work like that. It don't work like because no. my parents been together for 56 years. No. And well, you got 56 I, years of experience. I, I, just, I got 56 <laughs> years of being a kid around the ass, but I ain't never been married. But and you, I got you've seen how it works. And, look, and, right. And I've seen how it works. And now, to be honest, now what they're going through now, because my dad is ill. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm saying mm-hmm. in my head like, mm, I don't know if Def Do Us Part gonna oh, work out dang, for me. Oh my lord! Yep. You know she, because yeah. I'm keeping it a hundred. <laughs> like I don't know if Def Do Us Part gonna work out for me, bro. Because Fellas. me trying to take care of you when I'm still cool, like Fellas. I can still get, I can still get in the is. car and drive and rock out and go to the mall, Ooh. and you can't. And I, bro, wasn't with me shooting in the gym. I don't believe that Death Do Us Part is gonna work out for me. So what I'm seeking. 
is a relationship like Oprah got with Stedman. That's what simp. I'm seeking right there. So you want a simp? Is that is that, physical, is that a physical Not relationship? Because Stedman, or is that a business Stedman relationship? was paid. Stedman was rich before he met Oprah. Google him and look him up. I know, but so now he ain't. Uh, uh-uh, he plays his role. She plays his. Simp. They got their own separate cribs, but they together. Simp. Mm-mm, nope. You never even hear him say nothing. That's a grown ass man. He, he don't need to say nothing. He, ca- he kept. He, he don't so, need so to wait, say so nothing. So hold on, Roxy. Now let me ask you. Does, he does, he does, don't need to say nothing. He's not. He's not the does, entertainer. Does he, he have more money anything. than her? Which I doubt. No. But no, even okay, still, okay. like she don't even make it seem like they together. Like you see her. You always you see Oprah ninety percent of the time she by herself. Me and Gail. Me and Gail. That's why they say. Well, maybe the but her he, and Gail. He bro. there. He there though. Like, bro, I he understand. Behind the scenes. He, he behind the I scenes. I understand, but like, come on. Women always want to be claimed. Right, but you have to bro, remember, too, on. every man doesn't want to be in the front. I get it. I, be in the he don't have to be on, like, the camera like she is, but, like, she, she don't never say, well, you know, me and Stedman, it was the holidays, and me and... She don't talk about him at all. <laughs> <laughs> he be there. That's all that matters. He be there. Look, Ste- he probably home talking about, hey, Keep my name out your motherfucking That's mouth. That's right. Don't bring me up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bring me up, bitch. I mean, I listen. God, choke the shit. They, he probably, yo, he, know he, probably, he, probably like, he probably like listen. an old Ike. He probably old Ike Turner. I'm up here capping because if, if my lady had four billion, I'd be quiet too. Facts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mean, where? Facts. You said you want me out in the shed while they right. recording. Yeah, exactly. I'll be out there by the pool. Exactly. Yeah, I made this your podcast. Need a, you need a hot chocolate, baby? I, I got right. you. And when you win that award, baby, I'm going to stand right next to you. I'm going to be at home. I ain't even standing. Standing next to nah, you. Nah, cause she gonna need a date. She oh, will all right. You gotta play your part. Play your part. Play your <laughs> I'll part. be in the car. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep the car warm. <laughs> oh man, Roxy, where we at? What what video are we at now? Are we at number four? We at number four? We are. We are. So check this out. So this guy reveals. He's gonna reveal. Should let you know how mm-hmm. how his wife keeps him motivated to work on a daily basis. Oh shit! I like the way that sounds. Yeah, I, I want to know what. I want to know where they do that at. Okay. I want to know what uh, kind of motivation you're talking about. Let's, right. yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's see it. They'll listen to their boss, but if I say, would you listen to your husband? It's crazy. I once saw you put a tweet that if all women <laughs> stop working tomorrow, society would function fine. But if all men stop working tomorrow, society would be in shambles. I respect you a lot, bro. I have to disagree with you here. Okay. My wife is the sole reason I am as successful as I am. Mm-hmm. Every morning, she makes me a cup of tea and gives me a blow. Up. Then I start my work. Now, I could go without the cup of tea, but without that job, I wouldn't be as motivated to work as hard, to finish my day, and to come back home to get some more. That's actually one of my Alpha King rules as well. It's Alpha King 202. A great woman will help you become successful a lot easier. They'll listen to their boss. You know what? Let's go! And let the church I run through a say. Brick wall. Oh, God. If I can get that more tight motivation. Come on, Shabbat. Cece started off, though. I got to give me a drink on that one, bro. Here go. Uh, listen, um. Let me sip this cup. I don't know that king's name. I'm, I don't His name wasn't up there. I would like to salute that king and that queen. That he has in his palace, um, I, I think the fellas will agree with me. Uh, if you could get that kind of motivation every day from a, uh, I, I'm speechless. I don't even have any words. Black to put women here. ain't got that kind of time. Hey, <laughs> okay. find, hey, listen, what they say? You find time for the things that you uh you you like. Uh, yeah, but we like our job and we got shit to do. Black oh, women ain't see, got that kind of time see, every see, single morning to see, be doing that. For you hey, now, hey, if I could quit my job hey, and still live the nice life that I can live, and you not no, babe, you can't well, buy well, that. Listen, you no, gotta, babe, you can't go there. No, babe, you can't, you can't do that. No, babe, you can't get a new card. If I can live the life and you ain't giving me none of them no's, so we can so, blow your so, brains out. So every let morning. me ask a oh, question. Shit. In order to get a husband, he got to show you the husband traits first, right? Is that, am I correct on that? Well, no, keep in mind, yeah, a man that. finds a that. wife. A wife doesn't find a man. But so, even, okay, he, he, okay. you know what I mean? Like, well, Roxy dropping bars. But even a man still, finds you, a wife. A man, choo- right. a man chooses who he's going to marry and all that. A woman doesn't choose that. We think we do. Facts. But we don't. We don't be like, oh, you know what? I've dated him for 10 years. I know we're going to get married. Right, no, right, right, right. We right. do not choose that. So, you know, but go ahead. My bad, CJ. No, but I'm just saying, like, as far as a man, you, you want him to show you the husbandly traits. 
in order to like even even if he asked you to marry him if he doesn't show you husbandly traits you wouldn't just say oh well he, he wants to marry let's marry mm-hmm. he has to show you the traits first so with the woman hey if you showing certain certain traits get mm-hmm. you closer to the marriage. don't Listen. give up wifey traits when you're not wifey yet sis don't give up wifey traits if you're not wifey yet so, because he will push you out the door and all those minute. good so, old traits that you done gave him and now he learned and now he wants them he was gonna give them to the new John so would you give that we've a, all been there and done that girls don't let it be you so would you give that <laughs> advice to the men don't don't show her no husbandly I'm not paying all your bills cause you ain't showing me no wifely traits so why would I why would I take care I of you I don't think a man should be paying all them bills or even take care of you should, 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 say Roxy say that again I don't think a man should be paying all them come bills on, if we're not, if we're not come, married what are, you, what are you paying for come on somebody oh, I'm speak, so serious speak the truth out I, here. I mean I guess because and this is and 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 this is real talk. This isn't like you know some camera shit because I'm I'm not that girl. So mm-hmm. I feel like okay, so so we're dating. So all of a sudden I'm expect you to to pay my car insurance Come on, and I'm gonna somebody. expect you to buy my my groceries and I'm gonna expect you to pay, pay for this. And I've been doing this all along before I met you. So I shouldn't expect you to pay that, and you're not even my husband. Like that doesn't make any sense to maybe, me. Maybe now, he's showing you, some type of husbandly no, duties. No, 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 no. Okay. Now, if you say, "Babe, when do you go for?" I'm gonna make something up. Uh, when when do you go uh, get your nails done next? And if I say next Thursday, one o'clock, you know, I got you. I want to. I want to do that. Fine. And if she says, "Babe, when are you going to the barbershop next?" I'm, I want to hook you up. I got you. Fine. But you, there should be no expectations. Like, okay, we're in a relationship, and you need be you need to be paying my Pico, my T-Mobile, <laughs> my Aqua Water, and my Allstate insurance. And sis, you're not even my yeah. wife. And like, I just don't. I, I, gonna I, be mad. Well, you know what? Just, Hold on. Let me. Don't, I don't. Listen, I don't, me... I don't. Like I said, watching my parents with the 56 yeah. years in, you know that. That, well, that, let me say this. I mean, I want to go back to what uh-uh. to what you know. I mean, he said, "Oh, T, I see you, T." T says, "I'm curious. I'm curious how long they've been married, and even if he's over exaggerating, mm-hmm. which exactly. man, which, he could, of it course, probably ain't every day. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, of course, course he's over exaggerating. Absolutely, but, we don't know though. But now we know. <laughs> But the thing that I do disagree with him on. All right. First, I'm going to go with what I agree, I agree with him on. A good woman can make a man do incredible things. She can 10x you. Easy. I mean, can make a man do incre- a good part. Of, I don't want to say good, a good partner can make that other partner do incredible right. things, Correct. male or female. Yeah. Now, but the thing now, if we go to the hypothetical situation where if it was a woman country over here and a man country over here. Of course, the woman country would shut down because men we do a lot of physical. Do, right. Yeah, right. There's, certain, right. there's certain things that a woman can't do that a man can Absolutely. do. Again, there's certain things that a man can do that a woman can't do. Right. But of course, their country will shut down much faster than ours. Yes. I ours will, that. of course, be with stink because we can't reproduce. Right. You know what I mean? Of course, we're, and we're going to have wars because, you know, men, we love to fucking fight. Right. <laughs> right. Y'all's egos get in right, the yes, way. We got big egos getting away. Mm-hmm. Pussy, I said build that shit six Ego feet high. You way, build right. that shit six, five feet high. Right. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So right, that, right. that's a man and, thing. And it's crooked. <laughs> man, it's crooked. <laughs> Dumb motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, again, like I said, a good partner can make another partner run through some brick walls. And, yeah. and but those are some of the things that you shouldn't be sharing those good things or your whole worldly possession or even yourself with a bad party. First of all, you shouldn't even be involved with a bad partner, period. But again, hey, you we know all I mean? get them toxic relationships that we sometimes just can't seem to get out. You know, yeah. love is yeah. a motherfucker. And you just, you know, but you work your way out and you know not to do that shit again. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, and I mean, if we going back to what he said, I mean, that was his his motivation. But I feel like any man, if you get whatever your motivation is, if it's to BJ or if it's something else, like he's telling the truth. Like if you got a a woman, and I'm just speaking from a man's perspective, if you got a woman that you know when you wake up. She pouring into you? Yes. 1,000%. That'll make you... He lying. Ain't nothing wrong with waking up with your eyes and missing your head. That white man lying. Oh, you that white man lying? He lying. <laughs> he lying. I don't think he lying. I, I think he lying. No. He said that shit for camera. Damn. He said she gives up the. He BJ said, "Pearl, I agree with you, but I he said every with day." I like, mean, some people there are. Well, I maybe. Think, I think, listen, I think it's true because if you got a woman who sexually is on that level... I like, get it. 
she might that might be her thing like I, uh, uh, we won't she, even go there because this is recorded so i won't even talk i i get it believe and me, we are live and we and we live too yeah, but this I'm is not. this joint podcast we right. are unapologetically well, unapologetic that joint all the way out there like that but i get it <laughs> i get it i totally get it you yeah. know, you know, and maybe and she's probably doing that for now. It'll fade. But now, so, It'll yeah, fade. so wait, older, so wait, yes. I'm, 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 I'm about to put my homegirl Roxy on the spot. So Roxy, I'm sorry, because I'll ignore you and pick up this cup. So Roxy, <laughs> so <laughs> if, if your your husband, high value man, make well over six figures, okay, you don't have to work, okay, but he got to get out there and grind every morning. Boom, boom, boom. Do you want to make sure he? We'll start his day with the, is that his going, requirement though if that's his, I'm just saying is that well, his, okay I mean, let's like, say that me, is his me, requirement give me a, a, a situation here is that his requirement he's just looking to be topped yeah. off in, or, yeah. I mean top, like you know you put the gas in your car you gotta top it off well don't y'all wake up like that anyway uh-huh. No, but it's different between getting topped off and and, and the and the engine already like right. But you know, since you wake up, up already running. with the engine revved up, wouldn't you want some in the first place? Is what I'm saying. Yes, I mean, yeah. yes, yeah. Okay, so then I, don't you think I should give you some? But maybe the top is a little quicker than you know. You just want to get you know get the top, started. The top's not going to be quicker over here. Sorry. Oh, okay. Top's not going to be quicker. No, over here. Basically, so. what she's saying is <laughs> it ain't going to be no quickie. Mm-mm. You know what I mean? She's like, you're going to be late for work, my brother. Yeah. You know, I'll be calling and talking and I'm about, not going to be waking up early <laughs> look, just to get you that. He called in and talking about, I'm going to be late for work. They're like, what, motherfucker, you the boss. Right. Oh, shit, okay. Right. right. <laughs> you know, send a text real quick. Late. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Late. This is on pack. Oh, so wait, Roxy, where we at? Where we at? What, what number we at, baby girl? We at five. We still got we one five? more after this year. We got to run this through. Oh, yeah, man. So come five. on now. What we, we got five. What we got for number five? So this minister goes off on the late Kevin Samuels. Y'all know Ooh. I don't like him. Anyway. Oh, oh, yeah. God. We don't like him already. No, no. Yeah. It's my guy. You know. Go ahead. Yeah, Go ahead. Oh, God. Anyway, a minister goes off on the late Kevin Samuels, blaming him for destroying the black family dynamic. Yeah, I guess we got to look at that. Oh, man. Yes. Let's go. It's time to bury the ghost of Kevin Samuels with Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels was a terrorist to the family dynamic, to the family structure. He was a terrorist. He convinced weak men to be weaker men. Any man that convinces a man that he's the prize and the woman isn't is your enemy. A good woman deserves everything on this earth and in the universe. She gives us children. She brings us peace, harmony, joy. She rubs our back. She turns our our house into a home, our groceries into a meal. She nurtures our children. She nurtures us even when we're in our ego and our pride. And you allow Kevin Samuels to ask you to ask your woman what she brings to the table. The woman is the table. But the majority of you men have nothing to place on that table. You're mentally deficient. You're financially deficient. You're emotionally deficient. You're spiritually um, deficient. And your masculinity is deficient. So if you want to pass like Kevin Samuels with multiple failed marriages, leaving a world where your children don't even respect you, of course follow him. But that man's ghost needs to be put in the grave where it belongs because it's not beneficial to us as a whole. The woman needs to be uplifted. The woman needs to be loved. The woman needs to be nurtured because that's what providers do until she's able to become whole herself. She's been broken. She doesn't trust us. She's been betrayed. She doesn't trust us. We don't protect her. She doesn't trust us. We don't provide for her. She doesn't trust us. But we have the audacity to listen to a man that had severe mommy issues. Man, allow Kevin Samuels ghost to be buried with the body. And if you guys take this the wrong way or get defensive about what I'm saying, you're a part of the problem. And some of you women are so broken, you listen to Kevin Samuels because you suffer from daddy issues. There's nothing more greater than the woman. She's the first gift to man. She must be protected and provided for by all means necessary. And we have to understand who's a terrorist to the family dynamic. I love y'all. Peace. I had enough of that shit. Yo, Roxy, start it off. Look, start it off, Roxy. Look, I'm just ready to get up, rip my headphones off, and drink. Start it off, Roxy. Drink. Look, you know how you jump straight, rip my headphones off, throw them on the floor. Like, yeah, okay, so don't get me wrong. The one thing that I can say about him, I, I agree with most things that he said, but... I also agree that men need to be uplifted. 
men need to you know men need all those things too so i don't want to just say it's just women who need those things you know uh, men are going through a lot of things as well you know what i mean so i i don't want to say that it's just women who need a b c d e f and g because y'all need it too you know talking about you know she rubs our she rubs our back i mean we, we rub our back whatever he was saying you know y'all deserve the same thing so that's that's first and foremost like I, I just don't believe that you know you should just be the giver all the time that's just yeah. not i just i don't think that way you shouldn't be the giver all the time um i wasn't a fan of kevin samuels though i didn't follow him i would just hear snippets here and there and I, that was good for me i was like okay i don't need to follow this guy but um you know i do believe the guy in reference to the majority of what he was saying i mean you know the the masculinity all those kind of things that man it's, okay i'm done i can't i, can't. I just I, I, so I'll, I'll i'll take it home i'm gonna try to keep this as brief as possible because on this topic this could be its own show by itself damn yes it could so the number one the one thing i don't like about what he said is that Kevin Samuels is known. He went viral for the first the first video that went viral. He was talking to the lady. He said, you know, um, rate yourself one to ten. You can't use seven. Blah, 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 blah. They don't know that for a year and a half prior to that, his podcast was about the men. He would say, yeah, if you're a sex. man and you're not making a certain amount of money, if you're not putting in 60 hours a week, get your ass off the couch, get off the game, get off the YouTube. The people don't bring up that part. They only bring up the part where he's talking to the women. He talked to the men first. Get your shit together. And then he said to the women, hey, listen, we, we he, his whole thing, his whole uh, mission was to get the black people together. His, mm -hmm. his favorite thing was the black family is is we're, we're, we're not unified. That was his whole thing he talked about. But people, I get his 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 uh, his tone. I get the way he, t he like the way he spoke to women. I didn't agree with that part. I didn't like the way he would just cut women off. This is my show and all that. I think he should have had a little bit more discernment, a little bit more grace for the women. I agree with mm -hmm. that part. But his message was clear. Y'all are true again the, around the whole high value man thing. Oh, I want a man that makes a hundred k, sweetheart. Percent of black men make a hundred thousand dollars in this country. So what he was saying is that all these women are trying to get. A pool of men that is this big so you mm -hmm. have to stand out you have to have certain values and like women would say well i cook i clean he like don't you think that other women around them do that so with him this dude whoever he was keep saying that he was dissing and Some I'm sort like, of minister you're, you're not listening to what you obviously didn't listen to all that he was talking about because he kept saying hey listen the women have to show up a certain way and then he would say if you want us a high we'll use that term high value man mm -hmm. at the end of the day high value men have options so you have to compete to fit in this small pool that you're looking for mm -hmm. and you have to understand that you're become competing, realistic you're what competing you're for become, a spot be realistic. so again the way he was talking to the women i did not like that i yeah, did I not agree with very, that yeah, I yeah. It was he was very, very brash he was very yeah, rude. i think that that's probably why i turned and, off but the, like, the message was that. it was certainly clear women would come on there talking about oh they baby daddy had three he, he like so you chose the same, the wrong man three times, and now you're demanding this new man to be this, this, and that. He like, well, what you bring to the table? That's why I kept saying, what do you bring to the table? He, he even asked the women, what's your flaw? What flaw do you have? Um, well, you can't even tell me what's wrong with yourself. And but you want this man to be X, Y, and Z. It's like, bro, it, 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 your, your, mm -hmm. your, your handshake ain't matching your smile. And let's circle back that what, like we were talking about what makes Steve Harvey an expert is men like this. Is what I'm talking about. Like, so what makes this guy an expert? What makes him? Uh, no, well, Kevin Samuels, because one video went viral. Like, no, what, well, I mean, what, well, ma me, what made his advice so good? What, well, what, well, what's you know, his backstory? Well, let, let is, me let is, me ask. Is he is, is he a six eight figure? Next? Excuse me. Well, he is. I mean, I mean yeah, he, he, he was a millionaire. Well, well, let me. I'm, I want to add because I used to follow Kevin Samuels before he blew up because his thing, his YouTube channel was about men wellness men health men mm -hmm. he was like a uh, what do you call it a fashion uh, uh, yeah image mm -hmm. consultant okay. so i used to follow him for fashion tips okay he really didn't blow up until the women started jumping mm -hmm. in our shit mm -hmm. you know what i mean it, it was about just us men okay when the women started coming in then of course then that's when he started going viral okay and then that's okay. when it yeah. was because his shows his um his youtube videos was it was just about men it was just about talking to men yeah. getting men to improve themselves yeah when the women started jumping in 
that's when his shit started becoming yeah, viral. That's when he start, yeah, that's yeah. when he started talking. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then he was using the same tone that he was using on us yep. men to the women. Yep. Right. Now, again, I, I'm with CJ. That part, I don't just because he could have used a little a little tactness. It's not what you say. Yeah. It's how you say yeah, it. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean? He, right. he, but his message was clear because he was using that. Listen, he would tell men, you're going to have a girl come over your crib and you still got pee around your toilet. He, he, he was getting into women. Oh, he was getting into men much harder. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't, because don't, men was on a whole different type of level. Don't allow no woman to come over your crib and you ain't got no wipes for her. Yeah, there you That's go. That's what he was yes. saying. Mm-hmm. You think she should just be wiping herself with regular old toilet paper? What kind of, he will be coming at our necks. Yeah. Like you got to step your, your standards step up. Step your game up. Yep. Step, right. He should step your, your dress. He should have uh, um all these different colognes and he will give you all types of tips on how to wear cologne. You should. Because a lot of men don't know how to wear cologne. You shouldn't right, be 35 right. years old not know how to tie a tie. Not, yeah. What's wrong with you? All, like, all right. types of tips like that. Now, when the women started coming in his live stream, that's when he started Right, but up. I think that and when he started getting like ultimately disrespectful because other than just the way he was speaking to women, what was the, there was one thing that that he said that went bananas that women, he kept saying, if you're over 35 and you're not married, you're damaged, you're done. Like you're, you're like basically like you mean nothing, you'll never have a man, like you're done. Yeah, and, just to, yeah. and things like that. So I say, I say to that, what what makes you a fucking expert, dude? Yeah. Like, what makes you an expert? So, who told you that by law, if Kevin Samuels says, and I, you know, if you're over 35, you're damaged goods, you'll never have a man, you're you're done, you're gonna be single for the rest of your life. Who are you to say that? Yeah. So, I think that that's where everything went to the left with a whole bunch of people, including myself. Yeah. Who, are you, who are you to say that? Yeah, I just, I, I think, I mean, if, if his if his delivery was different. I think his message would have uh, would have resonated with a lot more people. But, mm-hmm. I mean, because he always came with with data. Like he would say, "I did, I did studies. I, yeah. um, I've I've done surveys." And you know, he's an image consultant, so he deals with high value clients. So he's asking them over and over, "What are y'all looking for? Mm-hmm. What you, as a man who's a high value man, what are you looking for?" And his and his statement never changed. They looking for this type of woman who is submissive, and then the woman would take the word submissive wrong. And he would say, I'm not talking about these men don't want slaves. They want a woman who submits that. So it was like, it's just his delivery. And I think that a person like me who could, you know, decipher that, like I could understand like, all right, the way he's saying it is out of pocket, but listen to the principle, listen to the message. And a lot of people was getting emotional because of what he said right. or how he said it. Because and they you would just, can't get past yeah, that. They would tune it out. So yeah. I think yeah, that's where he went wrong. You can't get past that. Like you, you know, your mom always taught you, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Right. And yeah. you can't get past that 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 ignorance, that 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 brassness. You can't get past that because that's just not how we want to be spoken to in the first place. Right. So I'm not going to take it from some Joe Schmo that I don't even know. You but, know you what know, I mean? I mean, then, his, his message or not, it's it's... It's yeah. a thing where, like I said, and I think what really offended a lot of us that are older and not married was like the nerve of you to say that. Like, I got a girlfriend, our girlfriend, Jewel. Jewel got married six years ago. Jewel just turned 60 yesterday. Oh, OK. Oh, man, so she got married six years about. ago. They are. Oh, my God. They are the couple. I swear. It's just amazing. So who is this guy to quote that, you know, over a certain age, you're done. Like well, you so know what, that offended a lot of women. That offended a but, lot of but us. You know what, now, now this this that is what did. I say. This I is what didn't I like say. That at all either. This is what I say to that. Don't listen to argue. Listen to improve understand yourself. Listen to understand. Mm-hmm. Now, a lot of people. Now, this, this that cracks me up. If if those women really had such an issue, he had more. When it got to the point where men stopped even going yeah, onto his, his, his live stream, they were like, "Yo," because the women then took it over. Mm-hmm. We couldn't even go in just to try to get some advice because mm-hmm. the women didn't took it over. The women's good. Like, yo, man, you know, fuck it. Let them have it. You know what I mean? Let yeah. them have it. And a lot of people listen to the sound bites instead of listening right. to the whole three hour live stream. Mm-hmm. They only want to pick and choose what they want to listen to to try to troll it, to try to troll them. Now, now as far as a man, this guy calls himself a minister. I ain't trying to hear all that. Because a real man don't attack another man's family. Who cares if he? I didn't he know he was married three, issues and three like, times. Bro, you don't know that. Come on, bro. That's that. See, that's that sucker shit. That's soft. Exactly. That's only, soft. only soft men do that. And then again, you wait until he's already gone. Right. Rest in peace, Kevin. Saying rest in peace, my brother. You wait till he's already gone to try to attack this character. 
if you was like that, pull up on that man. DM if you him, was say, like hey, that, you I want to have a conversation yeah, with you. Exactly. You, you would have had, you would attempt to do some dialogue with him while he was still alive. But who knows? We, it, who knows if he did or not? I mean, we don't, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's we, again, we, but, but again, I mean, saying. Yeah, I mean, see, this isn't the question, especially about these 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 internet. They try, guys try to be internet bullies. You know what I mean? I know a real bully. I know a, a real gangster. A lot of people they jump on here, man. They want to troll. They want to be all tough, man. No, stop that. And I said this plenty of times. Men aren't men anymore. These modern men aren't men anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't need another man to tell me on on how to raise my children or or how to deal with my wife. No, no, I. I don't listen to these podcasts for that. I listen to podcasts for entertainment. Mm-hmm. Entertainment because the shit is funny. If you gonna say you gonna go to the internet for some marriage advice, you man, already you, you already yo, failed. Yo, right, you yo, failed. your marriage is already broken. <laughs> your shit is already broken. They already failed. You know what I mean? You should be going to a professional. You shouldn't be going to the internet to listen like to some I marriage advice. It's these Kevin Samuels and Steve Harveys that are so called experts <laughs> that y'all be wanting to follow. Y'all keep following him. Oh. Right. I'm not doing that. <laughs> and follow right to divorce. I watch Family Feud though. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. And, and again, for, for like even Steve Harvey, Kevin Samuels, or even the, some of the women that I watch with, with the uh, relationship advice or whatever, mm-hmm. I'm just looking for little gems, like something that I might, um, you know, a thought process that I might not be thinking. So, like oh okay that's a different way of thinking about that so i'm not i'm not gonna look at them and you know idolize them and i think that again like him he was that that was too emotional to me like oh you're like he he really took it personal he got mommy issues you got three failed marriages and blah 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 blah. and it's like he did his research what that's what so much and again i'm the type of person me personally i'm a solutions person so if kevin samuels was a problem now all right give me the solution since you since you telling me a problem Give me a solution. Don't tell me a problem. He, we need to get the, rid of the ghost to Kevin. All right, th- that's the problem. What's the solution? Yeah. Tell me. Tell me how, how you think it should be done, or or what advice are you giving men? Because again, Kevin Samuel started out by giving men advice. So if you're telling men that men shouldn't be the prize and women, the, all right, what other what what other way are you delivering this message? Are you just here to uh, shit on uh, Kevin Samuels, or, or do you got your own platform? Where you helping men become better uh, to better themselves, but if you're just here to talk about and shit on this man, but you're not giving the men that he's helped out solutions, then you're or, part of the problem. Or too. even some of the women that he's yeah, or the woman too. A, see again, again, this is the thing that really cracks me up about some of these internet gurus and and experts and stuff like that. Uh-huh. It's the fucking internet. Yeah. The man, yes. it's the internet, man. It's some fucking weirdos out here. <laughs> well, say God, anything behind you. a keyboard and a goddamn monitor. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you're supposed to take what the internet or some of these internet gurus say. You're supposed to take that as a, like a fucking grain, grain of salt. salt. Like, oh, word? Okay. You know, this that's entertaining. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. But shitting on another man, nah, that's not, I, I can't, I can't respect that. And then again, what he said, what I disagree. He started off the conversation and he was good about, you know what I mean, you know, providing, protecting women. That's good. Thanks. A good woman. You ain't supposed to be providing protection or um, emotional support or financial support to a bad woman. You ain't supposed to do that for every woman. Not a bad bee. You know, nah, you, not no, no. And no, you need to know what type of woman that you have. Or you need to know if this, what can you bring to the table? Yes, I want to know what you can bring to the table. Right. You know what I mean? Because if you sit up there and you can lay in the bed all goddamn day, oh, hell no, you ain't, doing, oh, are you nurturing? Or, because again, if you're nurturing, I, I, can, I can have children with you. You know what I'm saying? Are, are well, you? Are, can you handle money? There. He said, a, no, he, he didn't. Yes, he no, did. No, his whole thing was. He said, he, I mean. He's supposed to treat said, every woman like that. No, you don't treat every You're supposed to treat a good woman like that. You're supposed, you're supposed to give a good woman the world. He's gonna give every. Well, man, that's, hell that's, no. that's not common sense, though, bro. Come it on, is not. Oh, common, uh, sense common sense ain't that common. Common sense to y'all. No, so, yo, so, to a, so a lot a of men, it's not that common sense. No, no. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. All right then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Again, I I think about the women that uh will mess with the guy who is broke. He ain't got no job. She like it's like you don't you don't see that he's a bum. Huh? Don't make sense. Why would you want to entertain this man? He don't have a job. He can't take care of himself. So how he going? If we're supposed to protect, provide, and lead, he can't protect you because he ain't got nothing. He can't provide because he don't have nothing. And he can't lead because he don't have nothing. Why would you mess with him? And on the other end, for the men, 
what can what what uh, like we talked about on the other one the soft skills what soft skills does she have that can increase value in your life my favorite thing is value what does a uh, any relationship business or prof uh or personal how is this person providing value in your life if they mm -hmm. don't have any value what is the point of them being there mm -hmm. it's, it yeah, just yeah. is pointless and so it's like we have to get back to that men need to stop being so um superficial and women need to stop basing everything off of what a man financially can do for you that's a part of it but it shouldn't be the introduction. Mm -hmm. Oh, he can. Yeah. He's a I, like that term. I hate that term. High value man. I don't even know it what makes that it, means. I don't even say it. it I think it's he, dumb. It basically like it a man. Because my whole thing is. is, how is a man? Uh, there's men that are high value that don't make 100K. Kevin Samuel said that all the time. I don't yeah. know. That, it, I, and it's I, like there's dumb. men who make 100K who are trash. So stop saying high right. value men just means that people that make over men that make over 100K that don't make them high value character makes you high value mm -hmm. yeah. so it's like it was just like yeah. we just back we're going back so like when you was explaining like as a woman the the, the fact that the, you shouldn't expect a man to do this when you're not that's like the traditional thing because you are looking for a man of high character who cares if he could buy you a uh, to take you to dinner or whatever it's like you looking for those intangibles that'll make your relationship strong and again mm -hmm. you could go 30 years like my mom and dad mm -hmm. before my dad passed away go 50 something years like your parents that's what creates that and i'm pretty sure if you asked your mom well how much money you think daddy spent on you your whole uh, right. marriage she's like i don't know yeah, only. yeah no and don't get me wrong all all of those values and and and, and ways have <laughs>